Good day, today in the National Center of Controlling Defense of the Russian Federation we hold the briefing and we would present the evidence on the use of financing and those who support uh, terrorist groups uh, operating in Syria and Iraq. We have here Deputy uh, Minister of Defense Anatoly Antonov, uh, Head of Operative um, Group of Headquarters of General, General Sergei Rutskoy and Head of National Control Department General Mezentsev. Good day, dear colleagues. The international terrorism is the chief threat of our times. This is the threat which is quite real. And many countries uh, like Russia know that uh, firsthand. The so-called uh, Islam State is the leader in the terrorist international. This monster of the international terrorism may be counterposed and it may be defeated. Within the last couple of months, the airspace forces of Russia demonstrated this. We are sure that to win over ISIS, we have to make uh, strong blows on the source of its financing, as was said more than once by the President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin. Terrorism without money is an animal without teeth. Revenues from selling oil are one of the most important sources of the terrorist activity in Syria. They win over $2 billion annually and spend these funds to recruit fighters all over the world, providing them with equipment, weaponry, and that is why ISIS protects the source of uh, criminal oil production in Syria and Iraq. The chief consumer of this stolen oil is Turkey. According to our information, this criminal business involves the top political leadership of the country, President Erdogan and his family. We pretty often said that it's uh, very dangerous to play games with terrorists. The fire from one country may appear into other countries. We observe the situation in the Middle East. Today we shall present only part of the evidence which show that in the region there is uh, one team of bandits and Turkish elites to steal oil from their neighbors. This oil in enormous uh, quantities in industrial scopes through pipelines and thousand trucks goes to territory of Turkey. We are assured, and today we shall present a, mm, direct evidence, that the final uh, pop, mm, point of destination of the stolen oil is Turkey. Dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, to cut the channels of uh, finances is necessary. Without it, it will not be possible to fight with this terrorist organization. As Deputy Minister Antonov uh, said, the chief source of the uh, finances for terrorists is the illegal sale of oil products. To liquidate this channel, the airspace forces of uh, Russia hit objects of production, storage, refining and transportation of oil products in the territory of Syria under control of ISIS. Within a couple of months, due to our hits, we hit 32 oil refining complexes, 11 oil refining plants, 23 stations of transporting oil. We destroyed 1,080 tank trucks. 
which transport oil products. So the turnover of this illegal oil production and transportation was reduced twice. The revenues of this terrorist organization from criminal business uh, reach three million dollars per day. You multiply it into four years. After our strikes, the revenues of terrorists went down to 1.5 million dollars per day. But bank groups still receive financial support and weapons and armaments and other material support for their activity. Some countries, including Turkey, are directly involved in a large-scale ISIS business project and they support terrorists. The general headquarters of the armed forces of the Russian Federation has direct evidence based on our air intelligence uh, to the fact that Turkey is involved in this business. Today uh, we present only parts of this evidence. We found out three chief routes of oil transporting to Turkey from uh, ISIS territory in Syria and Iraq. Western route reaches to Turkish ports to the Mediterranean. Northern goes to oil refinery Batman at the territory of Turkey. And the eastern joint is in Jizre. You will see all the chain of supply of oil products to Turkey from production to refining. Western route hydrocarbons uh, produced not far from Raqqa by automobile transport at night time are transported to the northeast, to the northwest of Syria, then through Azaz at the territory of Syria and Reyhanli at the territory of Turkey to Turkish ports Derkyol and Iskanderu. In this picture, dated November 13, in Azaz, we see the automobile road which connects Turkey and Syria. We see the equipment which transports oil products. In the A square on the Turkish side, we see 240 tanks and large trucks at the B square, Turkish territory, there are many uh, trucks which wait for the border crossing. Uh, part of this equipment is masked for uh, civil trucks. Uh, similar is the situation not far from Reykhanli, not far from the uh, Despite military actions in Aleppo, there is a strong uh, movement of transportation in both directions. And in the Turkish territory, we see lots of trucks. This video shows how these trucks cross the border without any hindrance. These are bandits and terrorist groups, uh, Jurhat al-Nusra, which uh, allows uh, large trucks with oil to cross the border. And this uh, transport is not checked on the Turkish side, and we see hundreds of such trucks. In this picture dated November 16 in Rain Hanli, you see uh, 360 uh, tanks and lots of trucks not far from the Syrian border. In the B square, there are about 160 tanks which crossed the border. In this checkpoint, we see the movement towards Syrian a border, and there are about 100 uh, trucks. Space intelligence shows that after crossing the border, these uh, tanks and large trucks with oil go to ports Dertyol and Iskanderu uh, with specialized territories for tankers. Uh, part of the oil is transported to ships and goes for refining outside Turkey and part is sold at the inside market. The turnover, daily turnover is about one tanker a day. This 
pictures show the tanks waiting for uh, reloading. There are 365 such tanks in Iskanderon, about 60. Uh, the next route goes to Turkey from oil fields located at the right bank of Euphrates, one of the uh, largest centers here controlled by ISIS is the Derazor territory. Here we see many uh, oil refineries, one of them you can see here. Here we see lots of tanks waiting for loading. Here you see automobiles or trucks located not far from each other. Uh, at this uh, picture from taken from the air, we observed 1722 uh, oil tanks. You have to note that uh, from the beginning of our air strikes on these oil infrastructure sites controlled by ISIS, the number of these uh, trucks in columns reduced notably in this and other parts of Syria. And the environment suffers also. Uh, there are oil lakes in the sand. This is the picture not far from Raki, and you see it on your screen. The uh, trucks move to Kamishlia, and over there they wait for their turn. Uh, at the photographs here made in August this year, in this area we saw lots of uh, hundreds of trucks which moving to Turkey and in the opposite direction. So lots of oil transported from Syria goes to Batman refinery located at the Turkish territory 100 kilometers from the Syrian border. The third route to Turkey goes from oil field in the northern western parts of Iraq through Karachok, Chamhanik at the Syrian territory and Itavan and Zaho at the territory of Iraq. These pictures show um, lots of uh, big trucks and uh, oil tanks in these territories. November 28 in the area of Karachok at the territory of oil transporting plant uh, we saw 50 oil tanks. And these are August uh, pictures in Chamhanik. You see 380 units uh, of uh, automobile equipment. Nothing changed since that time. Our intelligence shows that there is a strong traffic through the border between Syria and Iraq. Many such uh, trucks are noted in the areas near the border of Turkey and Iraq. The in uh, Iran Izaho we made the films and we saw the 104 big trucks. It's hard not to notice them, but to destroy uh, them by coalition. Well, it, it doesn't take place. So far, we only see the increase of a number of strategic uh, drones. The hits uh, made by coalition uh, led by the United States of America not, do not take place. So full information about the sites uh, will be presented at the site of the Ministry of Defense right after this briefing. Uh, as to the border territories of Iraq, the tankers move uh, Iraqi-Turkey border in the Zaki area and the oil goes to uh, refining plants at Batman, which was already mentioned. 
or to large logistics centers on this route, which is located not far from Silopi. This is a picture taken from space, and you see the congregation of 3,000 tankers and large trucks. There is nothing to comment here. This is the scope of a legal business, and it's quite impressive. As a result, as per today, the criminal activity in oil sale, terrorists have no less than 8,500 uh, tankers, which daily transport up to 2,000 barrels of oil. The Russian aviation will continue to heat uh, oil structure of ISIS, and we invite our colleagues from coalition to do the same. Thank you very much. Dear colleagues, you uh, presented convincing proofs of mass and open stealing from sovereign countries, and I mean Syria and Iraq. Uh, their energy resources are stolen. I want to attract your attention to the fact that financial streams from oil selling go not only for enrichment of high military and political leadership of Turkey, but they uh, return to Syrian Arab Republic in big scopes by way of weaponry, ammunition, and uh, fighters of all uh, scales. Only uh, recently there were about 2,000 fighters or militants came in about 26 tons of ammunition, about 250 units of automobile equipment of uh, different destination. The Turkish side conducts such events for a long time and on a regular basis, and uh, it doesn't plan to stop it. So our information about the volume and routes of supply uh, by Tur the Turkish side of uh, equipment, ammunition, explosives, communication means and other material means, as well as uh, training of uh, terrorists, we shall uh, provide to you uh, later, next week. Hmm. Uh, dear colleagues, here we have a big number of uh, mass media representatives, and our briefing will be shown to m many more of your colleagues. In this regard, I would like to say the following. We know and value the work of journalists. We know that in journalist communities there are many uh, courageous people who perform their duty honestly. Uh, today we presented to you how uh, illegal uh, oil trade takes place, which results in financing terrorism. We presented convincing proofs, which <coughs> may be the source for a journalist investigation. Uh, we are sure that the truth uh, would make its way to the surface. We know uh, the price of Erdogan awards because Turkish uh, journalists uh, showed his uh, lies already, and for this the journalist went to prison. Uh, the Turkish leaders uh, would not retire. Uh, Mr. Erdogan would stay on, uh, even if his face uh, would be tarnished with stolen oil. And actually, uh, our uh, friends uh, died from um, Turkish militants. Uh, you see what they do. They went to the other country and steal it. And if someone is in the way, he has to be destroyed. So retirement of Erdogan is not our goal. This is for the Turkish people to decide our uh, purpose. 
uh, to uh, close down the sources of financing terrorism by mutual efforts. We shall continue to present the facts of uh, this stealing, how Turkey steals uh, or robs its neighbors' uh, control over this stealing business may be given only to the closed ones, and nobody in the uh, West uh, asked the question why the president's son heads uh, one of the leading energy companies, and his son-in-law is the minister of energy. What a wonderful family business. Is this possible somewhere else? Such uh, affairs cannot be given to anybody but to the closest ones. So far, uh, Western media doesn't provide any assessment of this situation, but the murder will out. The dirty oil dollars would be working. And I'm sure uh, that now uh, everything what you saw here was falsified. If uh, this is not there, let the journalists go and see for themselves. Today, uh, we present only part of the information about monstrous crimes of uh, Turkey elites, which directly finance the international terrorism. We think that uh, any sensible journalist should fight against this crime uh, of the 21st century. The objective journalist may be an efficient means in combating uh, financial and corruption schemes. We call for our colleagues to conduct uh, journalist investigations to uh, reveal uh, financing schemes to finance terrorist, terrorism. And, uh, uh, stolen oil goes to other region. The Minister of Defense of Russia will continue to inform you about uh, supplies of uh, oil to other countries by terrorists and about our airstrikes in Syria. So let us unite our efforts. We would destroy the source of financing of terrorism in Syria, and you join this work outside our ministry. Dear colleagues, everything we hear today at this briefing will be published on the official websites of the Defense Ministry, both in Russian and English. We have our colleagues present here from the foreign mass media who were at the Khmeimim base and saw for themselves how, how, how it, it, it works out there. And we'll go on to inform a journalist community based on the impartial facts uh, and efficient uh, control. So we have information about the Russian uh, Air Force base in, the, in Syrian territory and will update these facts and publish all the updates on our official website. Uh, thank you for your attention.